This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 258 for Wednesday, January 10th, 2018. This is Brian. This is Lisa. I heard you in both ears. That was weird. I'm hearing things. So I, I have to admit. Oh, God. I, um, I hate these. I picked up a dog this morning. I got a dog from a blacksmith. Within 10 minutes, he made a bolt for the door. <laughs> ah, you just thanks for joining crack us. yourself up, don't you? <laughs> he made a bolt for the door. <laughs> right, I'll let you know when you're funny. You're not, you're not there yet. People, uh, stop anyway. sending him this stuff. Oh, my God. So, uh, so, you know, I think next week I'm doing the joke. Yeah, good. Very good. So, Eric, if you're watching this, find me a really good joke. <laughs> if it's really, really good, then I'll just crack up till I, uh, I have been known to laugh until I cry and I can't yes. breathe. <laughs> yes. yeah. We do the wave. We do the... <sighs> we need the... one of those. You need to do that. You need to make yourself laugh enough that you can't well, breathe. This today might be the day. I don't know. Anyway. With the blacksmith joke? <laughs> anyway. We have, some pen, we have some pen stuff to talk about. Oh. Okay. This stuff made its way onto the mailer yesterday. Yes. Um, this is new old stock. Pilots. Rosewoods. Uh, mostly rosewood. Um, comes in, you know, in, I mean, this is old school. This old. is... Uh, 80s, 90s vintage, you know, the old brown box. Uh, this is just one of them. This is the Custom Grande. Um, you know, I'm impressed that none of these made their way into your pocket. None, none made them into my pocket. Um, cool clip. Look at that clip. That's just... Hold it up so the audience at home can see so the it. audience at home. Um, friction fit cap, 14 karat nibs. Ooh, you know what the nib noobs call that? What do they call that? You got to do it up near your ear. Snap cap. Kim likes that. So anyway, uh, cool stuff. Not made. Custom Grandi. When's the last time you saw one of those matching mechanical pencils? They're very, very cool. Yesterday. Um, <laughs> a bunch of other things. They're, they're, most of them are rosewood. We have some in black, uh, black plastic, uh, you know. Sincerely, they're cool. I, I love it when we find some of the uh, the new old stock pilot. Um, I learn something new every time. Yeah, it's um, a nice nice little addition to um, to the collection. Um, except you didn't collect any, right? I didn't collect any. No, no, I did not take any of those. Okay, because I have you on video. So. as like that's like a deposition. I'm good. I'm good. See, I'm just saving up for I'm saving up for the the time that I asked for permission. You're going to ask for permission? No, I'm not going to ask for I'm just going to no, ask for forgiveness. No, I heard Never, it. Gentlemen, ask permission. Gentlemen, it's better to ask for forgiveness than to, for permission. So. Are you sure? That's what my old boss said. And Gary was a wise man. So better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Anyway, along the Japanese theme. I'll remember that. Along the Japanese theme, we also got in a very unusual. Um, <sighs> These are talking. Not as common. Uh, Nippon art. Namiki. Um, you know, this, this is the is, flower basket. This is a good size. And believe it or not, we actually have it in a rollerball and a fountain pen. So for those of you who want Machie on a rollerball, we do have it. Um, this might be talking to me. If it is, then I suggest you see a shrink. But <laughs> uh, nice pattern. Um, it is hand Machie signed by the artist, just like the rest of the Nippon Art Series. Um, it's a nice, a nice looking pen. Machie on brass barrel. Um, you know, nice 14 karat nib, finer medium, uh, and you don't see this very often. You see mostly the other, the other four Nippon arts: the, uh, um, the dragon, the, uh, the, the turtle and crane, the, uh, the phoenix, and the uh, golden pheasant. But you don't normally see the flower basket. And so when we were able to get it, because we were able to, to snatch one, uh, well, two actually, uh, we did. So it's a little bit unusual, uh, and. Um, <laughs> we're doing a podcast here, by the I way. I was so shopping. You were shopping. All right. So, 
Um, so anyway, uh, new Nippon art, Namiki. It's awesome. Really pretty. It's really pretty. And in a, and in a rollerball. You know, but sincerely, I have a, a fairly small hand. It's a good size. It's it's not too chunky, but it's not thin by any means. It's the thinnest nice of the Namikis. Yes, but it's it's a nice weight. Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right. So there we go. What else? My we got birthday some... is coming up in five months. Six months. Six months. Yeah. You should know that. I do know that. I was thinking anniversary. That's what I was okay. thinking. So. All right. Uh, also, we just got in new paper blanks journals. These, I love paper blanks. Where do they come up with all these designs? They have creative people. They do. I mean, but these are all historically based. Well, yes. most of them are. So They're based on some historical. I mean, Cover just book. absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. This I one's love cool. The green. Is that the big version of that one? Yeah, I think they got so, a yeah. big, the uh, Aurelia Ultra. Green. I mean, these are just beautiful. Um, every year they come out with um, new designs, and then they that is cool. Um, they discontinue some others. It's always um, fresh. We got what about yeah. eight or nine, eight or ten of them here. So beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, beautiful paper. I love that they have the, um, they have a pocket in the back. A memory pocket. Yeah, yeah, just, they do such a nice job. I just wish they didn't intimidate me. Well, I'll tell you what, you get the journal, I will write in the first three pages. What are you going to write? All your jokes? All my jokes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I'll write all my jokes and then, you know, the pens yeah. that I want for the year. And then you can then you can then have I a, can cross you can cross them, them, off. them off once you <laughs> put them on my desk. Once I nix your idea, there you go. Um, we are also getting in the brand new Retro Fifty One Mission to Mars that should be coming this week. Tomorrow, um, I think it's coming. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. really cool limited edition, as um, a lot of their fun uh, seasonals are, and uh, we're only getting a uh, very a small, small number. number. Yep. Usually what happens is everybody sends their order in and then they distribute it amongst all the retailers they and usually it. usually you get less than what you order, right. um, but uh, that way everybody can get some. So uh, if you want it, submit your back and stock notification and when we send it out, go leave it. your meeting. Um, leave your meeting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, sorry. Go I'm sorry, CEO. I have to go and order my pen. <laughs> Um, These look cool. These no, they're they're nice, cool. yeah. Um, and so if, if there's other things that you wanted on your order, I recommend putting Put it in your, your cart, cart now. And then when you get the notice, then you can yep. just add it and check out. Boom, so, done. Because um, we're not getting nearly as many as we thought we were going to no. get. So. No. So. Uh, are you keeping one? I was thinking about it, but I don't have the other the other spaceship one that they did a number of years ago. Oh, well, I bet we could find one. Well, we could, but I don't think I'm going to keep one. I'm, I'm holding off for... Okay. Some other things that are coming on okay. the line. So. All right. Uh, so I guess that's, that's it everything for, for the new stuff for this week. Well, you know, we just had all the stuff for the holidays, um, and then we just did inventory. So it's kind of that that weird time after Christmas before all the, the new spring stuff comes out, um, which is in some ways as a retailer a, kind of nice to just have a little bit of a, a breather. Right. But this will get your heart racing. You ready? <sighs> Rapid fire. Rapid okay. fire. All right, you're asking the questions? Apparently so. Are you answering the questions? You're answering first and then I'm answering second. Or, you, or am I answering? What's the, what's the... I don't know. Twisby Eco or Twisby Vac Mini? Ooh, uh, Vac Mini. Eco. Why? Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the whole Vac thing just confuses me. It fills on the downstroke. I don't get that. It's like I don't get the matrix either. But I that's think a different well, that's story. a different story. <laughs> I, I think the vac, I think the vac mini posted is really a perfect length. Um, the eco posted is a little bit too long, and plus I also I do like the mechanical aspect of the back. Okay. So uh, I, I like the colors works. of the eco. I like the blue. Yeah, the blue is not. Well, if they made the blue in a five eighty or a well, they back. used to. It was the five forty. Well, they did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They did. Yeah, I have that one. That's the only one I have. I'm peeking. Oh, you can't peek. All right. So All right. I'm I'm Eco, you're Vac I'm Mini. I'm Mini, yeah. Go. Oh, Kim is awful. Mont Blanc Toffee Brown or Mont Blanc Irish Green. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not fair. Kim. Watch, watch you open the door. No. Um, toffee Brown or Irish Green. 
It's like Brian I, has one brown, Brian has one green. That's not Those fair. Are, I know. Um, if I was going to have, is this, is this like a case if I were going to have one ink the rest of my life? Desert Island, Dying mm. Wish, that kind of thing. I love the brown, but I'd have to go with the green just to have a little pop of color. I know, you're really getting into this pop, pop of color, color thing. Yeah, Look at you, yeah, purple. Know, right? Look at you. Um, oh, that brown is just, you know. If you had the brown, then maybe we could sneak <laughs> a, a fill here and there from each other's bottle. I'm going to go with Irish green. So I'm not going to. We're going to share? That'll be a first. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Oh, favorite pilot vanishing point limited edition. Oh my God, she's asking rough uh, questions. Well, I, I don't, every year when they come out, you always get one. I know, it's really cool. <laughs> I always say, I always say that I don't collect vanishing points, but I have, I don't know how many I have. I, I probably have 15 or 20 of them. They collect me, well, I think. not. Really, because they're all in a drawer under my desk, so I really have them all. You've got them like in this jumbled mess. Don't they deserve a little better than that? I know, John yelled at me when he was uh, here. Favorite limited. Boy, you know, I, I, I like the ice blue. Um, my ice blue? Your ice blue. I think that's nice. Let's just clarify that. My ice blue. If we wanted to go of the modern, more modern, I mean, I guess that is modern, the, the more recent ones. I do, I'm one of the few people that actually do like the guilloche. The Guilloche was not as popular as some of the others, you know, the Twilight or the Crimson. Uh, but I like the Guilloche because for me, that's more representative of some of the vintage Black Chase hard rubber pens that I have. So, All the tire pens with no nibs. Thanks for bringing that up. Yes, thanks. We haven't talked about that in 34 podcasts. I know, it's podcasts. been ages. And um, someone's going to look and they go, well, Brian, 258 minus 30, that's 224. So they're going to go back and they're going to find out that it was actually 223. Twilight. Twilight. I love the Twilight. Yeah. I love yeah. the ice blue that I just got. I Twilight like the orange. My, uh, this is an unpopular opinion. Twilight was not my favorite. Blasphemy. I know. I know. Oh my God. It was not my favorite. Wow. Probably the most valuable limited edition in the last that one's six, a eight years. One. God, they did such a great job. I wasn't shot. crazy about it. All right. So, rambling on. Oh my God, Kim is fired. Extra fine or double broad? Double broad. Extra fine. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't think I own short of a vintage pen that maybe just had it, and I bought the pen for the. I don't buy vintage pens for nibs. I don't think I own an extra fine. I have one or two. I prefer a fine, so I guess if I had to choose between extra fine or double broad, it would be extra fine. Double broad, yeah. Absolutely. And then I'd have you. Play with it, so it was fine. <laughs> oh, Netflix or Amazon Prime? Yeah, I've been liking Amazon Prime a lot more lately. Okay. I, I like I like the preview feature. Um, I think it's the, the interface is laid out a little better. Um, can I pick both? In Amazon Prime, you can differentiate between movies and TV shows, and I hate I hate, I hate that, that about Netflix. Netflix. Yes. Everything's a freaking TV show. And well, I don't want they to, don't specify. They don't specify, and I don't want to get involved in a new TV show. I want to just, you know, if, I, if it's, if it's movie night, well, I did. But if it's movie <laughs> night, if it's movie night, I want to watch a movie, and I want to filter by that. So, okay. Amazon, All absolutely. Right. Oh, spring, summer, fall, or winter, summer. I like to be warm. Yeah, I mean, I, I give a slight nudge to, to summer. A nudge? Well, yeah. That's it? Yeah. What about fall? Do you like fall? Well, I do. I love fall. The problem with fall is, is fall quickly works its way into, into winter. Oh, so how about spring and then you get spring, summer, and fall before you get back late to winter? Late spring. Okay. I like late spring because then... When there's no more snow? When there's no more snow and then we can get the car out and... And the patio, and the patio set, set and the fire pit and yep. all that. So, okay. Spring, summer, and fall. Late Good. spring. <laughs> oh, my God. If you were not able to use a fountain pen ever again, would you switch to ballpoint, rollerball, or pencil? Oh, I know this one. Rollerball. I would switch to the snip on our rollerball <laughs> is what I would do. <laughs> That's not funny. It's well, you know. I would probably go, yeah, I'd probably go rollerball. Okay. I'd probably go rollerball. Because it's got a smooth feel, mm -hmm. it just kind of mm -hmm. glides. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. 
Ink bottles or ink samples? Bottles, because I only have like six. So. You know, the more you say that, we should take a picture of all of your ink bottles. You actually have more I than you think. I don't have that many. Okay. I have I have two here in the office, and I have like... 6, 8, 10, 12 at home. Four or five at home. It's 6, 8, 10, 12. It's not that I'm going to count. It's, go ahead. Okay. Well, go ahead. Um, you'll, make it, you'll make it your Instagram post for tomorrow. Samples, because then you can play around. And you don't have any samples. I don't remember ever seeing a sample on your desk. I have four on my desk at the moment. Okay. Okay. Lammy Safari or Lammy All Star? All Star. All Star. Because of the ocean blue. The ocean blue? Yeah. Ocean blue All Star. You like that one? Uh, that's the, the tester in the store, the ocean blue All Star. That's mine. I know that. I like it. The copper orange is mine. Why not? I like the blue green. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the colors on the All Stars better. Yes. They've always, they've always like, done a pretty good job. And I like the weight. Yeah. So. And the transparent section, quite frankly. Okay. I'm learning something new about you every day. I'm just answering the question. Oh, Aurora blue or Aurora black? Black. Blue. While, while I like the blue, <laughs> while I like the blue, it's a, it's a hair too purpley for me. That's what I love, okay. Mr. Purple. I know. I love the, yeah, the Aurora blue is just Listen, so... It's my first ever, like, lavender shirt. So. And it's purple. for those keeping track, this is the purple Cosmos. It goes with the shirt. Finally, so. he inked it. I just inked it, yeah. Beatles, by the way. Knox Sinclair, Brass Town, or Lookout? Sinclair. Smaller form factor. I can fit uh, a Toya Petite notebook in there, the big one. And zip it up. And zip it up, yep. You know, I have a Brass Town that, that Brad gave me years ago, and um, you can fit all sorts of other stuff in there, which was interesting. I used Roller it. balls, ballpoints? I use it for makeup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, My so, makeup you know, brushes. And Sinclair for me, definitely. I the like peacock the, is cool. I like the lookout. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're all for... I like a flap. Budget, only carry a couple pens, uh, you know, that's a great case. Okay, there you go. So, all right. <sighs> Survived. Those are tough questions. I was afraid. La last Pins time we did fire. that, I didn't actually have the answers to some of them. So. All right. But, What's next? Uh, Philly Pencho, uh, we actually leave today, uh, and we'll get there tomorrow. Uh, goes through the weekend. There's a uh, well. The show is actually Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. I believe Friday opens up uh, the general public at ten o'clock. Ooh, that's early. Uh, it is early, um, uh, but uh, it's uh, a first first show of the the pension season. So I'm looking forward to it. We got our, I, our weekend is actually all planned out. I, like even I every am meal, pretty much. Looking forward to it, but I do like to be home. It is nice to like be settled and, and you can really get into projects and stuff here at the store. Yep. But um, beautiful hotel. Um, one of our favorite places to eat is the Marathon Diner. Yep, yep, it's great. So Come to, I, like, I, I remember up and over. last year there was a thread on, I think it was on FPN, and people were complaining about you know, this, that, or the other thing. I'm like, you know, you gotta, you gotta expand out. Don't always eat at the hotel. Yes. The hotel is never the cheapest place, yes. it never has the best food. Um, it's convenient, and that's what you're paying for. But there are, especially we're downtown Philly. Yes. There's, you know, there's. Wasn't well, there a mac and cheese place across the street? I, I can't remember. There's one, yeah, across the street from the marathon. Cheese across, or it's mac and cheese. Yeah, I think there's a there's one on the way to the marathon. There's a pizza place. We can't. Um, eat that. There was a great little deli we found that had bagel sandwiches for mm -hmm. breakfast. Um, you know, and so there there are a lot of options. But the marathon diner has really, really quite good food. We just ruined it for ourselves because now everybody's going to go. It's we're the not worst get... place ever. <laughs> uh, there was a rat in my soup. No. The Marathon Diner um, was introduced to us by our friend Steph, and uh, it is now our favorite place to go. Um, in fact, we know how to get there now without even looking. Sort of. Sort I do. Of. Do you know how to get there? Okay. You so go up to the corner and you turn. Turn, okay. And you just keep going. It's, uh -huh. it's across the street from... Um, Dunkin' Donuts and the place with the, is it a chicken on the window? <laughs> the chicken or a rooster or something? You wait. I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little disturbed that you remember that. <laughs> you sit uh, there and that's what you look at. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I, I, my favorite memory is of the Philadelphia Pen Show, believe it or not, is sitting at the Marathon Diner during the big snowstorm yes. of 2016 and watching people have a snowball fight in the middle of the street while yes. we were having dinner. It was, it was no, amazing. No cars, just yeah. people. Yeah. There wasn't a car in, in sight. But uh, anyway, Philly Penn Show, 
Um, we'll be there tomorrow, but lots of good things going to happen. Uh, we are going to have, uh, I'll be right behind us, um, the... Uh, a table. Table, the Ed Gonzalez Memorial um, pen sell-off, as it were. Uh, we pretty much divvied most everything up into bags of pens, uh, $50 bags, a couple $100 bags, $150, I think there's a $25 bag uh, with some miscellaneous items. Uh, and then there are a number of individual pens that are, are a little bit above that, uh, and that little nicer pens, modern pens, a lot of stuff. Edison, Franklin Christoph, there's Monteverdi, there's Conklin. Um, you know, there's some interesting Chinese stuff that's fun to play with. Vintage Faber Parker Castell. Faber Castell. There's some looms, um, Parker 45s, which are a blast to play with. I love those. Couple that I really kind of like. Um, really interesting uh, collectible. Believe it or not, collectible Schaefer no nonsense. Yes, uh, rare, fun fa colors. Fa fairly rare ones in with gold trim, gold plated nibs. Um, we basically have what three to five. Fountain pens per bag, some pencils, yes. maybe some miscellaneous. Some, yes. You know, some nice. There's some nice cross ball points, but it's 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 super easy. It's it's fifty bucks a bag, unless otherwise marked. You know, and and everything has a nib, um, and uh, it's it is what it is. It's as is where it is. Cheese whiz. Uh, cheese whiz. Yeah. So um, <laughs> thank you, Terry Mayhorter. So we have that. Uh, all proceeds go to um, uh, Ed's daughter's education fund. Yes. Um, and. Uh, and so we'll have that. That that's going up first thing Friday morning, um, and uh, and there's 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 over fifty bags of stuff. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. And there's going to be some uh, some binders, some, yes, some leather, we're have some storage, some leather storage, uh, fairly inexpensive. Get there early. There is no there is no swapping stuff in bags. Just um, it grab is what a bag, it is. Pay um, go. And I think I think it's go it's play. well. And there, a number of the pens actually have AP nibs in them. Yes. Ed was a big big fan. <laughs> Of the 1.1 and broad nips, yep. so a lot of a lot of them have AP 1.1 yep. stubs in them, um, and you know, and, and at the prices you have here, a lot of these pens you can get replacement nibs for. So, if you had to buy a replacement nib because you're an extra fine type of person, you're still yeah. well under what what this stuff costs brand new. So these are these are good value. Bags. There's some good stuff. Yes. There's some Edisons, uh, yes. if I didn't mention that. Uh, Deltas. There's actually a, an AP Delta Limited Edition. Yes. The, yes. the first one we did, the red, yeah. uh, the Unica, is stunning pen, low serial number, uh, but a lot of good stuff. Uh, hit that up. That'll be right behind us. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing to hit up is the uh, Nib Noobs video on pen shows, yep. uh, and apparently Kim raps. And she did it on the spot, so that's yeah. pretty good. We, that's, she's, she's, she's redeemed talented. herself, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of good stuff in there, basically, you know, it's... Every year we try to roll out that uh, that post we have talking, informing people how to go to a pen show. Comfy shoes, stay hydrated, frequent breaks because your brain will explode. We should explain why we say comfy shoes. Because, why is it comfy shoes? Uh, because you are standing and walking and bending over and um, you will spend more time than you think. Uh, and it's it's hard on your body. It's hard on your feet to just stand there and bend over and look at things and try not to touch them and then you touch yep. them. But uh, comfy shoes, the ballrooms at most of the hotels, you know, are carpeted, but you're, you're going to be doing a lot of walking. You're going to be yep. wandering, forcing yourself to go look at everything. Um, and then, you know, coming back to whatever table you found something at. You're going you're gonna to find something at a table and then you're going to decide the first pass. You want to see everything before you make a purchase, unless it's a very special pen. Yeah. Um, so unless I see that king of pen in brown mosaic, I'm going to keep going on. She's giving me the look. You're not shape. leaving the um, table. So, so you go, you go walk around, but then what happens is, is you inevitably can't remember where you saw that pen. So you have to start over. And, and then people have moved things or people get up and, you know, especially the first day of a show, sometimes it's, you know, it's a little fluid. Um, so yeah. Pay attention to where it is. Sometimes I even write things down. It's okay. It's that you know I right. pick up the business card and I'm like, okay, this was because otherwise at the end of the show sometimes I pull my pocket out and I've got like six business cards and I'm like, who is Joe Slobotnik? I don't know. What did he have? No idea. So why did you get six business cards at a show? You should be working. I am working. All right. I'm working the floor. Yeah. Whatever. 
Uh, so anyway, the Philly Penn Show, it's going to be fun. Um, the weather looks great this year. Oh, thank God. So, um, you know, this is the one drive I, I dread the most. I'll drive to San Fran. I'll drive to L.A. This is the one drive because the weather is so iffy. Um, and it's downtown. I hate all downtowns. Yep. It's not a Philly thing. It's not a Baltimore thing. Just all downtowns. You got too many one-way streets. And the too logistics, many crazy the logistics can make it difficult, but um, no, it's it's going to be it's going to be well good. organized. It, yeah, if if you if you're never been to a pen show before and you're debating, go. And, and you can and you can make it go. I highly recommend it. It's worth even if you don't buy a pen, don't don't say okay, well I got to pay whatever the entrance fee is. Who cares? Go to see the pens, talk to the people. It's and classes and their classes. Yeah. Michael Ward's teaching. Michael a class? Ward's going to be there. Yeah. Love so, him. yeah, just go. I just want to adopt him and hug him. <laughs> He's so talented. He's so cute. Um, several people will be offering classes. Um, I'm sure that there's a get together or two for It'll probably be in the in the in, in the, the refreshment area yes. outside of uh, yes. outside of the the, the area. So, uh, anyway, Philly Pen Show, go. Uh, come see us, uh, Anderson go. Avenue, lots of stuff, uh, and. We pretty much cutting off the pen show pickup like pretty this soon. Morning. So yeah, so it was already cut off. Was it? Yeah. All right. Apparently it was. All right. Uh, what else? A new thing with Aziza. We um, are doing this now. Normally on Friday at ten Central Time. Learning letters with gourmet pens. And we did H last week. Right. I think we should. Start over and do first an L, so then A first, and then an and then P, I, and then an S. She spelled Anderson, and H then an A, and then we could spell Anderson. Oh, okay. But so we started with H. I don't think L's on the list anytime soon. Uh, what are we doing Maybe next? E. I don't I think know. We're doing E next. I don't know. We don't know. We're guessing maybe <laughs> it's going to be E. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's Z. That'd be fun. You can't make anything with Z and H. Aziza. Anyway, Fridays, 10 a.m. <laughs> Central Time. I bet she has a fondness that's for Z's. 10 a.m. Anderson Penn's time. So um, that's on our Instagram, and then it carries over to YouTube. Yes. All right. Uh, what else? You know, this is kind of cool. We have a brand new exhibition hall in Appleton. In fact, an opening, grand opening is tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. You know, we um, can't go. I'm really it was, sad. It was a little... What, what would you call it? Scandalous or newsworthy for a long time. They wanted to do it. They couldn't find the land. They dropped it. They wanted to do it. They wouldn't sell. I, a whole lot of drama for the last couple of years. Um, but uh, it's now built and the grand opening is tomorrow. tomorrow yep. uh, it's attached to the, um, the Radisson. Radisson Paper Valley Hotel, uh, which has also, I believe, undergone some renovation. And... Um, it's supposed to be kind of a big deal. Well, um, we could do a pen show here in Appleton, and we could just move the store. Can you picture everybody on staff with like carts and just walking down the street, rolling the big towers that are we've on got, wheels? We've got the, lo <laughs> the, the big Lamy over our shoulder, the big Lamy display, and the Pelican lamp, and oh my god, then, we'd have like a little parade. We'd have you know. Yes. Uh, so the anyway. new convention center. Uh, I I think I read that they already have. A couple events booked um, 20, I think, into 2020. Through 2020, so yeah. So if you happen to, I, I know like there's a QuickBooks seminar that, okay. that's going to be okay. um, in the Radisson or in the convention center. Um, yeah. You're, you're, but you're, I mean, they've already started to yeah, book things out. Your business, so. your business might actually be planning something if you're, you know, Midwest Central, babe. So. Two. We are two blocks, two blocks away. Yeah. Right across from there is a really awesome coffee shop, and then block and a half down, there we are. There's a, there's a, there's a pretty nice pen store. Yeah, so. I think so. Uh, question of the week. Question of the week. Why are you telling bad jokes? No? All right. Q-O-W. Oh my God. How many pen shows have you attended and what are your top three tips for pen shows? Well, no, we we, we, we kind of covered some of those yeah. those tips, right? How many pen shows? Philadelphia, I believe, will be our 80, 88th show. Dear God. 
88. 88, yes. And we started going to shows together... 87 to 88. In 2009. Yes. So how... That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of right, shows. So, in the last. But you know, that what was even scarier is that that's, 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 we're coming in our ninth year of going to shows together. So it's almost 10 a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first couple of years were, were pretty light. I know. Um, I miss those days. <laughs> like, oh, we're going to go to Atlanta and Chicago this no year. Way. And maybe we'll get D.C. I remember the one year we came home from a show and we're like, okay, this is crazy, but maybe we ought to go to Detroit. It's in two weeks. We're like... No. I remember it was like 11 o'clock at night. We're sitting in the kitchen going, that's completely crazy. Let's do it. Um, well, do you remember the one year that we did? Um, that was what, 2010? Baltimore, maybe? Little Rock, and Long Island. Yes. Back to back to back weekends. And we came home in between. Oof, that Never was again. Rough. You know, that I'm was shocked. at the house, too. That was where yes. we had everything at the house. So we, we and, and everything is down in the basement. And it's kind of a narrow stairwell. And, and was, I would be the one to pack. It was, it was, oh, can yeah. I say hell? It was hell. Yeah. yeah it was, it was rough. It was Never rough. again. Two, two, two back to back is, is rough. Three back to back is, is virtually impossible. I'm shocked that we never once had an argument nope. Nope. or no, we don't usually changed argue. our minds. No, because you just ag understand that I'm right. Um, that was too much. Yeah. I think, I think in 87. 88 shows, I think maybe we've had maybe two arguments. I know, and you apologize, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah and I think for me, I think uh, Philadelphia, I know Philadelphia for me is going to be my 98th Penn show. So which I'm means over 100? You're over 100. Wow. But we don't know, I don't know how many you've been to because we don't. I'd have to add. You'd have to add it up. Well, I, I, I actually, math. as anal as I am, I actually have a spreadsheet that says every year which Penn show I Yes, I know every pen show I've attended. Um, 98. You have a spreadsheet? I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's funny. <laughs> well, because, you know, this topic comes up. Every, well, how many pen shows? I want to know. You know, when I hit 100, I want to know. Are you expecting a prize when you hit 100? I'm hoping. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so top three tips. I know that we often say, you know, comfy shoes, stay hydrated, take fre frequent breaks. Um, Sincerely, that's no joke. Comfy shoes, you're doing a lot of walking, a lot of standing, and especially if you normally have um, a desk job or something that doesn't require you to stand on your feet, it. you're not used to it. Um, for some reason in Philly, the floor, I believe, has less padding. And Our feet always it, yeah. hurt more. Well, it, it, Philly has, the last couple of years, they've had, they've had these communal tables. Those so are great. If you get tired, you can sit down and you can show off. Yep. Your fines with your friends, and so you, you can get a little break and still be in the pen show room yes, where all the leaving. action's going on. You're not, or you can go out to the bar, but it's it's, it's nice to stay. It's inside. much more interesting, yeah, because then yeah. you know if someone's looking for, hey, check this out, look at the sailor I bought. You or know. people just walk by, and if two of you are are just kind of sh looking at what you just bought, people will just stop by and like check it out, like, oh, what's that? I've never seen it, and you just start conversations with with random other pen peeps. It's cool. Um, um, I would say one of my top tips is have a list. Have some kind of idea what you're looking for. Because if you go in and, and if this is your if this is not your first show, you, you understand this, and maybe you don't need I, I don't bring a list, but um, I have a mental list. If it's your first show, have a list because you're going to walk in and your 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 eyes are going to pop out of your head. There's there's your thousands and thousands off. and thousands and thousands of pens, tens of thousands of pens. You're going to see all sorts of stuff you never knew existed. But you want to be able to focus and say, okay, well, I'm looking for a Lamy 2000. I'm looking for a Sailor 1911. And then at least you have something. In other words, you're going to go, well, I don't know what to buy. Yes. And you're just going to gonna get stuck. Um, Particularly ink. Yes. Ink, if you know you're looking for a specific <laughs> ink, um, we have people who so often say, um, it's a, a diamine ink and it's purple. You got to give me more. Uh, write it down. Or if you know you love purple or green or whatever, um, write down what you already have. Take yep. a picture of your collection. Bring it in a pen. Or or something. something. Um, Bring a swab card. If you got because a we or something. we do have people every um, every year, maybe not every show, but who uh, 
aren't sure. It's like, okay, I don't remember if this is the one I wanted or if this is the one I have. And they flip a coin, they buy one, and about half the time it's what they already have. Yep. Um, so bring some kind of a list or write down what you have or take a picture. I would say with ink too because we literally have over a thousand different bottles of ink. We only bring, you know, a couple of each color. If there's something you have to have, either A, pen show pickup is the way to go. B, just like with nib work, go get it first. Yes. Get it out of the way. Go find it because we so often get people who come to us Sunday afternoon and are upset because we're out of Compeki. I mean, we, we can we can bring 10 Compeki and they'll be gone by yeah. the end of the day, Saturday. So uh, we never know what's going to And then the next show, nobody buys Compeki. So right. if there's you a particular color you're looking for, you're out and you know... Go do that first. Yes. Um, you know, the other thing is uh, there is a little bit of pen show etiquette. Um, many, many shows, uh, we get people who aren't sure if it's a twist or a, a snap and they start to like pull, ask. If you're not sure, ask. Yeah. Because you can do permanent expensive damage by trying to, you know, pull something that's a... Or maybe worse. Yes, I hate a, that. You know, people are just like trying to put the cap on wrong. Because you, you, you can't can, you can actually cap a threaded pen by pushing it on. It'll don't strip the threads, that. but don't do it. Yeah. So just, I've been doing this 20 years. I've been collecting pens for 20 years. I still, to this day, in, in every show, if I come across some vintage pen or something and I can't seem to get it open. Ask. I just hand it back to him. Yeah. And there, there's no harm, no foul. Say, listen. Can you open it? Do you mind opening this yes. for me? I, it, it seems like it's a little tight. Right. And then they, they open it, and then they hand it back to me, and that's it. You know, uh, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Always ask. So. Um, I know sometimes, um, especially uh, vendors who have a lot of vintage stuff or very high-end stuff, they sometimes have them in cases that have a glass top. That doesn't mean you can't see it. Just it ask. just means that's how they, want, they choose to protect it. Just ask them. Yep. Um, and and you don't be afraid to ask because a lot of, a lot of guys don't have anything priced. Yes. And, and I know some people get really upset about that, but that's just how it is, you know. And or that's how that particular vendor is. That's how that particular is. vendor is, you know. And a lot of these guys, especially some of the vintage guys, this is a hobby and he's just bringing his extras. So, and, and oftentimes with some of the, um, the old school, this is how I'm sure how I'm going to be in 20 years when I'm going to pen shows. I'm just going to bring a bunch of stuff. Somebody's going to come up to and say, hey, listen, I've always wanted that pen. I've got this one. Do you want to trade? And then they go, yes. So right. they don't do prices. You just ask. And then, you know, they're not trying to rip you off. They're not trying to. No. It's just how it is. So I think we did we hit more than three. Um, you know, the other one, and you always tease me for talking about money, but bring some cash. Yes. Yeah, because um, while more and more of the old school, um, more vintage focused people are now taking Square and PayPal mm -hmm. and they have the card readers. Not everyone does. Very few people will take a check. Yeah, don't, I, I, I would just go so far as to say don't, don't, even, don't even bring don't a checkbook even try to bring because a check. it's just not, nobody wants to deal with it. Yeah, because unfortunately yeah. too many of us have gotten hurt yep. um, through that. So like we don't take checks. Yeah, and, and most, cash is king like, like anywhere yes. else because if you pay in cash, that means that, person can then immediately go and spend that money. And so cash can be fluid and, right. you know, it can help somebody else out. And uh, cash is always the best bet. Well, and always save a couple dollars at, you know, in your in your wallet because um, like us and, and many other people, like I, I won't charge a dollar. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah try, try, try to limit that. That would yeah. be. Um, but. but it also helps keep you on budget. If this is all you have, you use the B word. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't work for you, it but work for me. you know, it it can help you stay on budget if you have been saving up, um, or you went to the ATM and and this is your mental limit. Then seeing it helps keep you on task. If you're just taking out your debit card and just swiping and swiping, and and you don't have any visual record of what you've spent. It's very easy to go over budget, which then can sour the whole pen show experience. Yep. It's supposed to be fun. It is fun. So, there yep. you go. So, all right. There's your 30 tips for pen shows. <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, we're getting ready to go. Uh, we will be on the road. We will be there tomorrow. Uh, set up 
pretty much Friday morning. Yes. Uh, 10 o'clock early entrance, uh, and uh, it's going to be a great time. Yeah, we're going to have so, a good time. Looking, looking forward to starting the year off, and uh, we'll see. We're going to see a bunch of friends. Uh, um, yeah, we have a lot of plans. We do. We're, we're know, pretty much booked the entire weekend. So We had just talked last week, and I'm like, you know, I'd like to save a night or a breakfast or something oh. and, and just kind of decompress. And no, we've got dinner Thursday, breakfast Friday, drinks Friday night. Dinner Saturday night. Dinner Saturday, Saturday night. Morning, we've so got far. Saturday night, Saturday morning free. Yep, that's it. So who's free? What do you want to do? Marathon. Yes. All right. So anyway. That's uh, it. Hopefully, we'll see y'all at the, the Philly Penn Show. Uh, other words, I think that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, fun videos by the Nib Noobs and Mr. Paper. And uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>